Thank you, Tara. I am Christine Deschler, the chair of the Arlington Finance Committee, and I am calling the September 28th, 2023 meeting of the Arlington Finance Committee to order. The first thing I will do is to confirm um, attendance of members of the committee and that everyone can hear each other. So when I read off your names, if you can answer in the, in the affirmative, starting with Jordan. Is Jordan here? No. Shane? Shane's not here. Jennifer? Uh, here. Sophie? Here. Sophie? Here. Can you hear me? Here. Ryan? Carolyn's not here. Rebecca? Yes, here. Josh? Here. Grant? Here. Charlie? Here. John? Here. Daryl? Here. Annie? Here. Al Jones? Here. Topher? Here. Peggy is not here. Al Tosti? Is not here. Dean? Here. Dean Carmen? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. And Dave McKenna? Dave is not here. And Executive Secretary Tara Bradley? Here. All right. All right, if um, I'm gonna read off the, I'm gonna read off the remote meeting script. Um, all right, uh, I'm hoping you can all still hear me. On March 29th, 2023, Governor Healy signed into law a supplemental budget bill, which among other things, extends the temporary provisions of the open meeting law to March 31st, 2025. This further extension allows public bodies to continue holding meetings remotely without a quorum of the body physically present at a meeting location so long as adequate alternative access to the deliberations of the meeting is provided to the public. Adequate alternative access includes providing public access through Zoom video conferencing, which is what we are doing tonight. Ensuring public access does not ensure public comment or public participation. This meeting will not feature public comment. Those wishing to, wishing to provide comments may do so by emailing our executive secretary, Tara Bradley at tbradley at town.arlington.ma.us. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating, well, all attendees are participating by video conference. Please be aware that other folks may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. All supporting materials that have been provided members of this body are available on the town's website unless otherwise noted. Um, the chair will recognize members wishing to speak who hold uh, to who raise their hand um, in Zoom by calling upon them by name. Please do not speak until you are recognized until your name is called. Please remember to mute your phone or computer when you are not speaking, and remember to speak clearly in a way that helps generate accurate mini minutes. And finally, each vote taken in this meeting will be conducted by roll call vote. All right, turning to our agenda. Can everyone still hear me? Yes. Can people hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes, we can hear All right. You. All right. Because I am a, I am the subject of the complaint that has been. I am a subject of um, the, the complaint that has been filed against the town of Arlington for an open meeting violation. I intend to recuse myself completely from this meeting and I'm turning it over to Al Jones to take over uh, in my stead. I am uh, so as not to uh, chill any discussion or debate. I'm going to remove myself completely from the meeting and Tara Bradley will email uh, text me when you have completed your work on this agenda item and or if there are any questions that you might have for me and when Tara 
text, text me to say that you have uh, finished your, your business with this agenda item. I will come back and we'll finish up the meeting. Does everyone understand that? Yes. 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 All right. So All right. I will Thank be you, Christine. leaving the meeting. Thank you, Al. Okay, everyone. Uh, Tara, could you put the um, complaint up uh, if, from the package that has the complaint and uh, the town council's uh, memo and the draft response? Yes. And uh, has everyone uh, read this uh, thoroughly and understand it? Yep. Yep. Uh, are there any uh, questions or comments about it? I think um, town council's response is fine. Okay. Or, I mean, the one question seems to be, should it be joint between all three bodies that are mentioned? As opposed to, I guess, having separate responses. I think the way, uh, could you scroll down to the draft response, please? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's near the end. I think the way it's written, um, it says insert board or committee. So I think yeah, yeah. basically he'd, he'd send three, three separate, very similar. Well, except it has to jointly respond. I think he mentions like you could just do one. Okay. I don't know, like if the select board or the school committee has any opinion on that. Do, do we have any uh, preference? Does anyone have any preference one way or the other? Mox Nix. Does that mean no? Doesn't matter. <laughs> well, if there's uh, no uh, discussion on this, uh, I would entertain a motion from anyone. And so I'll, I'll, I'll move that we take a vote authorizing, <clears throat> excuse me, authorizing the town council to File a response on our behalf based on the draft of which he has provided us. Second. So, nice uh, job, so Daryl. Daryl moved and Topher seconded? Or? Yes. Okay. Um, any uh, discussion about the motion or any questions about the intent of the motion? I have a question. Charlie. Um, <clears throat> the town council is leaving. So who's actually going to carry this forward? Well, I think, I believe the motion was for the town council to do it. Um, uh, it doesn't mention Doug Heim. Um, so I assume whoever would be the new or interim town. When's, when's Doug leaving? That's actually news to me. Um, October 6th. Okay. Um, I think if we vote tonight, he should be able to get this out Yeah. before he leaves. But if not, I, I think it's the responsibility of the town council, whoever that might be, or might be acting town council. I, I don't think we can go without a town council for very long. Uh, is that Charlie? Does that yes? Thank you. Thank okay. you. Um, any other uh, questions about the motion? I. This is Sophie. Sophie. I just wonder if in the motion we should say whether or not we authorize it to be a joint response if other boards want to do it joint so that we they don't come back to us with the same question. Could, uh, Daryl, could uh, we restate the motion so that either of those would be acceptable? Either a, a single or, or uh, joint response, an individual uh, joint response? Think about authorizing the town council to file either a joint or single response. Does that work? I think so. On our behalf, based on the draft of which he's provided us. All right. uh, any comments about that uh, amendment? We need a okay. second. Sounds good. Second. OK. Uh, so hearing none, I think uh, we should take a roll call on this. Um, usual manner. Uh, Jordan. Uh, I vote yes. Uh, Shane's not here. Jennifer. Uh, yes. Sophie. Yes. Uh, Brian, Carolyn. 
not here. Rebecca? Yes. Josh? Yes. Grant? Yes. Charlie? Yes. John? Yes. Daryl? Yes. Annie? Yes. I guess as acting chair, I'll skip. Christopher? Yes. Uh, Peggy and Al Tosti not here. Uh, Christine not voting. Dean? Yes. David? David's not here? Nope. Okay. Uh, so I believe that's a majority of the uh, quorum. And uh, the vote is passed. Okay, so, I will text Christine. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Alan. Sure. Now we can all go back to making apple butter or whatever we're doing. <laughs> you don't want to know. Which <laughs> one? Apple butter is great. <laughs> it takes hours. Yeah, apple it. butter is a code for something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not sure I want to know. But I, I, I've made apple butter many years of making apple butter. <laughs> Apple butter comes after apple picking. Yes. yes. Or a trip to the Mullins or whatever. Yeah. Or, or <laughs> 89 cents a pound. pound. Oh, Basically that's cheating. That good. is cheating. Okay, Christine, I uh, Andy the gavel. All right, thank you. That was quick. Thank you. So you have, you have um, taken a vote. And can you tell me what the vote is? Uh, the vote was affirmative, uh, unanimous of everyone. Uh, present and voting, and I, I, I refrain as acting chair. Okay. Support the Helen and, and, uh, Daryl, could you uh, restate or, or, or Tara? Could you restate the motion? Um, to authorize Town Council to file a response on behalf of the Finance Committee, either jointly with the Select Board and School Committee, or singularly um, in the manner set forth in the draft response attached to town council's September 19th, 2023 memo to the committees. So, okay. so Kristen, we, we authorized either, either a joint response or a sing individual response. And right. uh, Charlie noted that town council uh, is a short timer, but hopefully he can get this uh, filed before he leaves. Right. Can I request um, Tara to, would you, Communicate that vote to town council tomorrow? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you all. All right. So the, um, there's really nothing else on our agenda tonight other than um, um, I would like to have a very brief discussion about what next Thursday's meeting will, will, will be on. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be um, visited by um, the, the deputy town manager, Alex McGee, who will talk to us about at least one, maybe two, but probably only one contract ratification mm -hmm. um, that will be in the warrant for the special town meeting. Uh, that article will be at the very end of town meeting because the hope is that there'll be uh, an agreement with the second union by the time before town meeting closes. Um, so he'll have some um, some numbers in a, in a description about the, the contract for us um, next week. He hopes to get something to me by Tuesday and I'll get that out to you all before, hopefully before we meet on Thursday. Um, the other finance article is, I think we've already covered it. It's the 400,000 contingent add into the school budget contingent on the override. Um, those are clearly two uh, finance articles will have to report on. Um, and I know that there's been discussion about the finance committee waiting in or not waiting in on the MBTA's um, community's law. Um, and we'll discuss that um, next week. Um, uh, whether we should or should not wade in on any part of it. And if so, what that would look like if we did. Um, so, um, so that will be a week from tonight. Um, anybody have anything to add to that right now? I, we'll, we'll hold off on actually discussing or debating or commenting next week, but I just want people to understand what we'll be doing next Thursday. Um, also with town meeting starting, uh, we will 
do what we typically do, which is the finance committee will meet a half an hour before town meeting, at least the first night of town meeting, uh, and then we'll see how it how it goes. I, I think uh, I think we all know that the uh, most of town meeting will be taken up with non finance articles. Um, so uh, it, we may be just cooling our heels for a while before <clears throat> we actually get into any finance articles. Um, so that's that. Anybody want to say anything about how um, town day went? Uh, well, we were we were commenting on uh, we didn't have candy or anything, but then realizing that if we had candy, we'd be spending funds, and that would look bad. And <laughs> you know, so the bare bones was being fiscally responsible. Oh my God, do you really think people <laughs> would have noticed? I don't know. That was just a, a point of discussion. That was for oh, fun. <laughs> it was bare bones of a tent for yeah. sure. Oh, we did uh, talk to one person in precinct 18 who might be interested. I don't know if he's reached out. Right. So, I am not, but that's good news. Okay. Great. He's a, yeah, he's a retired finance guy. So he, he was interested. So we'll see. Okay. Yeah. All right. I had, I had one person come up and say that uh, they might be interested and I referred them to Tara. So yep. I don't know if that got through. All right. Yeah. All right. Good. That's, that's good. Um, I, had, I had one guy come up to me wearing a Blue Lives Matter cap. So I should have been a little more attuned to his ideological perspectives. And uh, I learned that he hates DEI and thinks we shouldn't be spending money on it. And meanwhile, I could feel Rebecca behind me laughing her head off because evidently <laughs> I encounters with this guy. Uh, yeah, I had one uh, one person want to talk about the override, right? Which was, you know, so, you know, it was, in it was an interesting... Not a lot of people coming up, but yeah, a couple of conversations were interesting. Do you think it's worthwhile to do this in future years? People who were there? Well, I'll relay. So Chris Moore, who is the, this year's chair of the Capital Planning Committee, and he was the one who was really interested in doing it. His view was, maybe we only need to do this every few years. So. <laughs> Well, I think it was tough too. It was a tougher day for traffic just because of the yeah, weather. it was really rainy yeah, in parts of the day. So yeah, yeah. I would also suggest that if we did it consistently, people would be used to the idea that we were going to be there. And if we did something to draw people into the booth, right? Um, quiz to take, materials to review, whatever, we might draw more people in. Um, yeah. And, you know, I was a deadbeat. I was only in one booth of the six that I should have been in this year. But in future years, if we want to do it, I will help with that. Yeah. Well, we could, we could, we could always introduce something about the water and sewer budget to make it work. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll <laughs> pull that in there, Grant. Right? <laughs> Both uh, the I mean, it's, it's interesting that, you know, we would say maybe do it every, only every so often. And I was thinking, well, we could do it when there's some big issue coming before the town that uh -oh. might draw interest. <laughs> And here we are with like two big issues and it doesn't sound like anyone, you know, had, had a lot to say about them. Yeah. Uh, you know, what, what, what more well, interesting other, finance issues could there be? I think there are other booths addressing, right? So that, you know, there's Invest in yeah. Arlington booth, there was stuff on housing, right? There was other booths out there mm -hmm. that we were stopping at. Well, yeah. We did have one person come by early and ask about the windows and get more windows and, Winslow Towers and Timor was there with me and he he dutifully took down the information mm. because, um it was a capital question yeah. and it was not something that was in the capital budget it was funded in some other way and she didn't know how so anyway. yeah. so some at least one person was on a mission when they came well I, even though it wasn't well attended as you might think maybe it's because of the weather but there was a presence and people did have questions. And so we, you know, it, we'd had somebody there to answer them. It does sound, you know, reasonable for those that went. Yeah. When we had the booth, when I was chair, I always provided the, uh, every booth member with apple pie and ice cream. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was missing. Yeah, that, that I don't that. recall that. Yeah, you can still do that, Al. <laughs> Excellent idea there. 
Mm -hmm. Can we get that retroactively, Al? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll make an apple pie for our first meeting if you like. <laughs> That'd be good. Okay. Yep. Apple ginger right. guys. Gotta like ginger. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we put could put together some more handout type stuff. You know, one page yeah. on uh the budget cycle, mm -hmm. uh another page on the uh um what, what sewer offset. Not yeah. what the two different committees did, but um a comparison on tax rates of our neighbors, uh uh things like that. Just yeah. uh you know, simple handouts, nothing fancy. The grant you could do a poster board on water and sewer. Yeah, the Ohio the Austin mechanism, around. right? Yeah, the the parfer would have been have actually nice to have. It. It's possible that, yeah. right? The, yeah, but we don't want a lot of people copies. falling asleep in front of you know in front of us on Mass Ave. Yeah, we could all donate some candy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Is it actually some like good good i good ideas here? <laughs> So maybe we'll follow up um, for potentially next year. Cool. All right. Is does anyone have anything else for us tonight? I want to thank you all for coming out virtually to um, this brief meeting. I appreciate it. Um, had to be done. Appreciate it. Um, and then I will see everyone on, hopefully everyone on Thursday to really it down to business um, with, with regard to the special. I will Great. entertain a motion to adjourn right now. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone, anyone opposed? All right, we are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Good night, Good night. everyone.